Hey guys, um, I promised a video on um, alternatives to prescription skin lighteners and prescription acne products. So, um, some that I have had um, quite a bit of um, good results with would be, uh, for one, pineapple. Um, and it's better when it's closer to being almost expired. So, if you buy it and it's green, give it a couple days and then use it. It's like the darker yellow it is. It's got this higher enzymatic like potency to it. Put it in a blender. Um, not the whole thing. Don't put it in a juicer. You still want it kind of pulpy. Well, I guess you could put it in a juicer, but then it won't be thick enough. Um, put it in a blender. Chop it up into chunks. Try to make them small. Don't break your blender. Put it in there. Um, I like to do body brushing a little bit, um, which is just a dry bristle brush to get like lymphatic drainage going and stuff like that. And it kind of takes off dead skin cells and then your skin is already exfoliated. And then you put it on, put the pineapple all over your face, everywhere, body. Uh, if you get back acne, chest acne, face, neck, whatever, put it wherever you got it and um, leave it on. I leave it on as long as I can stand it. Some days it's more stingy than others, and you'll find that with the pineapples that you buy sometimes. The earlier days it'll be stingier, and other days it won't. It won't even sting at all, and that's normal. Um, the stingier days, I find, that's when the enzymes are eating the st dead skin cells. So if it's not burning, it's probably really not that great of a pineapple. Um, so do that, and leave it on until you you know your skin will get a little bit pinkish and so if you rinse it off with lukewarm water and don't use anything else on your skin um you can use like a, a toner like witch hazel or just you know a toner that you have for your skin type and uh just to get your skin back to the normal ph and once you do that it eats away the dead skin cells so it helps with cell turnover helps with acne gets the pores unclogged all that stuff um the egg white mask is okay um, it helps mainly with the pores on my nose um, if they're looking particularly large. It helps to just reduce oil production, but it only does that for a little while. So you just want to crack open an egg, scoop out the... Um, it's easy if you just crack it open completely, but gently, into a bowl, and then scoop out the yolk. And then you just have the egg white, and you just take that. You can take like a little, a little fan brush or something with it, paintbrush even, and just put it on. Um, I put it on all over just because it gives this like temporary tightening effect to your entire face. And then um, after I'm done, I splash my face with cold water to tighten my pores up even more. Um, and that's really nice to do. It's, it's better to do in the early daytime because at night you want your pores open so that you can put on moisturizers and things like that that are going to better absorb into your skin during the nighttime. Uh, any serums, prescription medicines, anything you're trying to put on your face at night, you need to have your pores open for that. So... Um, you know, of course, we're trying not to do prescription medications, though. Um, I use Epiduo sometimes. It's um, it's all right. It seems to be ineffective after a couple weeks. Like my skin is just as oily, and it breaks out. It's not really any different. It, the first week, it was pretty much clear, and uh, the t the turnover because there's a retinoid in it. The cell turnover was fabulous, and my skin was looking new and blah blah blah. And now it's just, you know, shiny again. But um, I really, pineapple is my really favorite go-to method. Um, papaya is good as well. Um, and it's also, these things are good to eat. They're good, you know, digestive enzymes are good for your insides too. So while you're making your, sorry I had to hiccup, while you're making your uh, little body smoothie, <laughs> um, go ahead and just take a couple bites, you know. Healthy inside and out. Diet does have a lot to do with it, and I'm going to do a whole other section on that as well. My skin has gotten a lot better since uh, I've changed my diet. Um, but yeah, um, there's there's a lot of different things. Multivitamins obviously help. Salmon, omega-3s have helped immensely. It keeps your skin hydrated with the right oils. Um, not I'm not putting salmon on my face. I eat salmon. And I eat it about three times a week, and that's really, really good for your skin. It also keeps you from aging very quickly. So if you guys have any questions, you can put it in my inbox. Um, I would appreciate comments or something so that I know what you guys would like to see or hear. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep posting random shit that I would like to post. Thanks, guys.